A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In the previous video, we created a dial chart to display customers' ordered data. As you choose a customer name from the select list, the gauge pointer moves to the value which is equivalent to the customer's ordered amount. Link for that video is provided in the info card. In this video, first, we will create a single circular progress chart, in the form of cards, which will show the strength of employees in different departments, from the departments table in object browser. Secondly, we will create multiple circular progress charts, in the form of classic reports, which will also display the strength of employees in different departments, but this time we will be creating three different regions, along with different parameters and conditions. Let's start the video. Go to Object Browser, under SQL Workshop menu. Expand Tables section. This is the department's table we are using in the video. These are the three columns of this table, the strength of employees in these different departments and different locations will display at runtime. This is the second table EMP from where we will evaluate employees' strength in each department. Now, open your application. Go to Shared Components. Click on Static Application Files option. Click Create File button. Source code link is provided in video description. Select this circle progress JS file. This file code draw animated circle progress bars. This is the reference of this file. Take a note of this reference. Create a new page. Select Blank Page option. Set the following page creation attributes. After creating the page, scroll down to JavaScript section. Expand file URLs and paste the reference of the circle progress JS file. In the CSS section, expand inline section. Copy the CSS code from this inline CSS file in the source code. You can modify the CSS code according to your own need. Any CSS entered here will only be applied to this page and will not affect any other pages. Under Security section, set Page Access Protection property to Unrestricted. Selecting this option the page may be requested using a URL, with or without session state arguments, and without having to have a checksum. Create a new region. Set type to classic report. A simplified report based on a SQL query, classic reports are similar to interactive reports, but do not include the numerous end user customization options available with interactive reports. Set source type to SQL query. Copy the SQL query from the source code which displays the data of five columns, department number, card title, card text, card subtext, and color name. You can run this query in SQL commands under SQL Workshop menu, to check its data. Under the Attributes tab, set template to cards, which displays report data in cards or small blocks and is useful for presenting a variety of information, cards can be heavily customized via template options. Select template options to customize the user interface of this component. 
you can also modify the template options when running the application using Live Template Options. Live Template Options enables you to customize your application in real time, allowing you to preview and apply various options. Enter a text message to display if the query does not return any rows. If you select values from the database that already contain HTML tags, then those tags can cause conflicts with the HTML generated for your HTML expressions or URL generated for column links. When exporting such values, the existing HTML tags are included as plain text in the generated CSV file. When the strip HTML option is enabled, only the actual data portion of your column value is used. Specify whether end users can download the report contents to a CSV file. To enable CSV downloads, we use a report template with a CSV link substitution string and set this option to on. Select the sort sequence for this column. Each column should have a unique sequence to correctly order the report output. Enter HTML expressions to be shown in this column. We added this div tag to specify additional rules for this item to set the size, thickness, value, and color attributes for the circular chart. Now, click on Dynamic Actions tab. Create a dynamic action on page load event. This dynamic action will fire on page load event. Set action to execute JavaScript code which enables you to define or call custom page-specific JavaScript code to use within the Dynamic Action Framework. Copy the code from this file, which functions the circle animation process. Click the Save and Run Page button. You can see that my circles and numbers are not aligned. To align this, we have to modify the inline CSS. Now save and run the page. Everything is perfect. Our first task is accomplished. As we move your mouse cursor on each card, that card hovers. Let's create multiple circular progress charts. Select blank page option. Most of the properties and attributes will be same like previous segment. After creating the page, scroll down to JavaScript section. Expand file URLs. Open this second part folder. Copy the CDN. This is a standard file reference which loads the minified file circle progress min.js for regular page views. In the CSS section, expand inline section. Copy the CSS code from this inline CSS2 file. These are the font colors I have set, you can change it if you want. In this CSS code I have created three different classes to target the animation of three different regions. Round, covers the CSS portion of the first region. Round 2, controls the CSS of the second region. 
Round 3, covers the CSS of the third region. As I said previously, most of the properties and attributes will be same as we set in previous segment. Create a new region. This is our first region. Copy the query from this region 1 file. This code will fetch and display the column department number, department name as card title, location as card subtext, and card text column from the department's table. When we want to show smaller cards, we select this compact option. Create another region. This is our second region. Copy the SQL query from this region 2 file. This code will fetch and display the department name as card title, location as card subtext, card text column and department number column from the department's table including some conditions. Expand Columns node. In the Card Text column, under Column Formatting, expand HTML expression. In the Region 2 file, scroll down, and copy this small line of code. This div tag, adds additional rules for this item to set the size, thickness, value, color, and background color attributes for the circular chart. Create the third region. This region will present data in a classic report. Open region 3 file, and copy the SQL query which fetches and display the department number, department name, location, and circular value columns from the department's table. Expand Columns node in the circular value column, under column formatting, expand HTML expression. In the region 3 file, scroll down, and copy the code. This div tag is added to specify additional rules for this item to set the size, thickness, and value attributes for the circular chart. Click on Dynamic Actions tab. Create a dynamic action on page load event, to fire the dynamic action when page loads. Click the show node, set action to execute JavaScript code, 
This option enables user to define or call custom page-specific JavaScript code to use within the dynamic action framework. Copy the dynamic action code from this file, which functions the circle animation process. Note that in this dynamic action code I have created three different classes to target three different regions. Round, will target the first region. Round 2, will cover the second region. And Round 3, covers the animation of the third region. Save your work. Refresh your browser's window. Click this menu entry to access multiple circular progress charts. This happened because we did not turned off escape special characters value for the card text item of the first region. To prevent cross-site scripting, XSS attacks, always set this attribute to on. If you need to render HTML tags stored in the page item or in the entries of a list of values, you must turn off this attribute. In such cases, you should take additional precautions to ensure any user input to such fields are properly escaped when entered and before saving. Click Save and now refresh your browser's window. Here you go, the runtime view of our first region. Scroll down to see the second region, which is perfect. This is third region in the form of a classic report. This last column circular value is not perfectly aligned. Select this column. Change the alignment and column alignment properties from end to center. Perfect. The value in circle with percentage, is the strength of employees in different departments in different locations. That's it for now. Stay tuned to Tech Mining for more content like this. Thank you for watching.